What is going on YouTube? It's Gildaddy again and I am going to show you guys how to set up your Zebra printer um, and how to ship with your Zebra printer, how to ship your FBA labels with your Zebra printer, all that fun stuff. I'll try to make it a nice short little video and I, I get a lot of people asking me and asking Gil Mama to show them how to set up uh, the Zebra because they can't get it to work. I actually know somebody that end up sending somebody their zebra printer because they couldn't figure it out and they gave it to them for free so not all of us are lucky enough to get the zebra printer for free but I'm gonna have Gil Mama show you a few things on the zebra printer how to uh, calibrate the machine the printer right way and uh, then I'm gonna show you how to print your eBay labels and also uh, how to do your FBA labels as well so let's get to it hey guys I am going to show you how to calibrate the zebra printer so it goes the right length with your labels. Okay, all the zebras have this switch right here. All you gotta do is flip it off, and then you hold this button and turn it back on. And then once the button starts flashing, um, that's when you release the button. Basically what the printer's doing is it's going through and it's trying to find the gap in between the labels so it knows how far apart um, the labels are, or how, how far apart the gap is, I guess you could say. After that, it's going to print out a little segment there that kind of just tells you some information. Yeah. Jump you don't really need it. Yeah. But... Uh, it'll all, some of these you might not need to do this with, um, but if your printer is not printing right, like it's just popping out weird, you know, a lot of times it'll, it'll just keep spitting it out like it doesn't know where the label stops. That means you need to calibrate it. And now the printer is... Out of dump. Out of dump, <laughs> whatever that means. But now it is calibrated to these labels, so it will be right where it's supposed to be. Yeah, and you don't need to do this when you switch labels to like, um, these, these are the ones we use for FBA. You don't have to do a recalibrate it each time. This is just if the printer is having trouble uh, reading the gap, then you just do that one time and you should be good to go. But let's get to the computer and I'll show you how to print. Okay guys, well this is, uh, I'm going to show you two different things. I'm going to show you how we print the labels um, for eBay, how we get that all set up, and then also how we print uh, for Amazon. Now when you're switching in between the two labels, you're going to have to change the, the label preferences, I guess you can call them, or printer preferences. So let's go through that first. Um, this right here is, it's called Zebra Setup Utilities. When you get your Zebra printer, um, I'll put a link in the description of where you can download it, but this is basically going to be um, something you can download and you can use this application to change your printer settings and then I'll show you the other way as well. Um, but that'll give you the right drivers and everything like that. Um, so all you do is you click Configure Printer Settings and you just change your measurements here. Okay, so for eBay, we're going to be using a four by six label, and that's what we need. So, I mean, you can um, do different orientations or whatever like that. Um, you can do inverted or normal, which I believe is like your, your horizontal or vertical, and then you would just hit uh, finish. So, you can just hit finish. Uh, another way to do it, and you can do all this stuff, you can change your fonts, you can do whatever you want. I just leave it the way it, it came. But you can also go over here and you can go to Devices and Printers. And this is uh, Windows 7, so yeah, yours may look a little different depending on what you're using. If you're using a Mac, of course, it's not going to look anything like this. And the computer's going slow because I'm recording the screen. Alright, so Z Designer LP2844, that's our printer. So we're going to go over here and click printer printing preferences. All right, in here you can set your speed. Um, I recommend slowing the speed down a little bit, uh, if because sometimes the barcodes won't scan if if it comes out too fast or it doesn't you know just it kind of comes out blurry or something. You can also change the darkness in here, which you can do all this in that zebra utilities as well, and um, you just put an inch or millimeter. I usually put it on inch. Um, now the 4 by 6 labels are going to print landscape. Um, so the, for eBay you're going to want this on landscape and you're going to put it of course 4 by 6. Then you just hit apply and okay and we're done. So we're now we're ready to print with 
on eBay. So the first thing, I just pulled up some labels I already shipped out today. Uh, the first thing you're going to see is that I'm using um, Chrome. I'm using Chrome. You cannot use Mozilla. It just doesn't. It doesn't have the option. So you need to be using uh, Google Chrome in order to print these labels through eBay. I'm just going to go over here to reprint, and then I'm going to click uh, print label, just like you normally would with eBay. And again, it's going really slow because I'm recording the screen. It seems like it's slowing the computer down. All right, this is the reason right here why you need Google Chrome. Uh, if you try to do this in Mozilla, you're not going to have this option. Down at the bottom on the side here, it says print using system dialog. Well, you need to click that. And then you don't need two pages, so we always just change it one to one. So just delete the two and put a one. And right here, the printer is selected, so make sure that the the LP2844 or whatever zebra printer you have is selected and then you just hit print. So I'll go ahead and print it. That is, and there's the printer, or there's the paper. And it looks beautiful. It's so beautiful. Yeah, it's a pretty label right there. <laughs> Wish you guys could see it. Um, okay, so now let's go over here to Amazon. Because we're doing Amazon, um, you need to change some settings. All right, so I'm here in the scan and label section in my Seller Central. I went there by going to here to inventory and then manage FBA shipments, and then it's up, up at the top here, right where my mouse is, it'll say scan and label. Oh, there it is right there, scan and label. So I, then you click this little tab and it brings you here. Uh, this is normally where you're gonna be for uh, when you're, when you're uh, labeling your items. If you're doing it through Amazon, I use an application to do to list on Amazon and it actually spits the label out every time I list so, which is really nice but it's like 40 bucks a month okay right here it says printer um, if you haven't printed yet on your zebra on the seller central you're gonna want to click this and this is what the numbers that you want to put in there for the standard FBA labels which are a little over two and a half inches by one inch and again it's going slow Okay, so this will come up here. It'll say Edit Printer Settings. Makes you can use the drop down here. It'll recognize what printers you have on your computer, which we want the Zebra. And you want to put your width at 66 and your height at 25, and that's as long as you're using the standard FBA labels. I'll put a link in the description for the labels that you can get right on Amazon, um, and I'll put a link for the 4x6 labels too for you guys. Um, but then you just hit Test. So 66 millimeters by 25 millimeter. And you can even change your printing preferences to millimeters so you can put the same numbers in if it's easier for you to remember. But we're going to click Save. And then now I have to change um, the printer settings because I'm switching over to new labels. So let's go over here and let's go to Devices and Printers. Any day now. All right, so we're going to click like we did before. We're going to click Printing Preferences. And now I'm going to change it to Portrait because it's going to be printing this way. And then I'm going to change this to uh, the width is going to be 2.56 by, and like I said, you could change it to millimeters if it's easier for you, uh, by one. And then we just hit Apply, OK. And now we're ready to rock. So all you got to do is pop in your um, UPC, ISBN, EAN, um, when you're using the Zebra on here, I find it a lot easier if you're using the Amazon site to do this and not an application like I do. Um, if you open another window and pull open um, your shipment and just basically copy, um, copy the uh, EAN number, you just copy it and paste it. And I'll just go back and forth between the two windows and just paste it in here. Boom, it'll pop up in your item and you just hit enter, it prints out a label. So if you just do that for all your items, it doesn't take that long. Um, but if you are using a third-party software, uh, they have all that stuff built in for the Zebra, so you don't have to do them one at a time. And if there is a way to use Amazon Seller Central without having to do the labels one at a time, please leave a comment in the below and tell me how, because I don't freaking know how to do it. Um, but I'm not using it right now. I'm not using um, Seller Central when I do my label my labeling anyways, so it's, I haven't really researched it more. But 
that's pretty much it guys so that's it guys that is everything you should i think anyways that you need to know about the zebra uh we use an lp 2844 which is the most common one um i'll put links in the description as well um you can buy them on amazon i wouldn't recommend buying a new one if you're going to buy one um check to see if there's somebody selling them used used you can get them around 100 bucks 120 130 something like that Check there. Check the uh, Amazon link below. I also put links for the types of labels, the FBA labels, and the four by six labels that you use for your normal shipping labels. That's pretty much it. The only thing is, is I, we still use a regular printer when we print out our FedEx labels. Uh, I know if you use services like Stamps.com and there's other third-party things that you can use, then if you use those ones, I'm pretty sure they have different options for you to print like FedEx and things like that. But this is just the basics on how to set it up. And so, holy shit, two videos in one week. I must be crazy or something. Or I just love you guys. I don't know. But anyways, uh, I'll put all the other links to the website and, you know, the standard. You know, like, subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll keep posting videos. So talk to you later.